Hi everyone, I'm just recording this in a separate video. We went over this in the live last night, but sometimes, you know, people miss that. So I wanted, this is important information relating to the case of Evelyn May Boswell, age 15 months, who has not been seen since December, and that date is iffy, either the 10th, 11th, or the 26th. It's been reported, you know, multiple times in multiple ways. But um, she was not reported missing until February 18th. And that was by her maternal grandfather, Tommy Boswell Sr. So let's look at this family history here that's come out through court records and um, official documents. In 1993, Angela Boswell gave birth to her and Tommy Boswell Sr.'s first child, Tommy Jr. A few months after Tommy Jr. was born, Tommy Sr. was charged with assault in Sullivan County, Tennessee. The details of the assault are no longer available, but a TBI report shows that he was convicted of a misdemeanor assault in that case one year later. According to records, Angela and Tommy Sr. moved to Bulls Gap, Tennessee, and they had their second child, Megan Maggie Boswell, Evelyn's mother, in March of 2001. Angela and Tommy Sr. finally tied the knot a few months later. We fast forward to 2009, the family of four moves back to Sullivan County, Tennessee, and they moved into a manufactured hilltop home situated on family land. There's a photo of Evelyn being released on bail a few days ago. From court records, we learned that in March of 2009, Tommy Boswell Sr. reported to deputies that he was attacked by Angela. He said that she stabbed him in the neck with an ink pen. Angela also struggled with her son, Tommy Jr., when he went to rescue his dad. A few months later, after that incident, an angry Tommy Boswell Sr. went over to his father-in-law's house, that's David Lynn Jones, and David Lynn Jones reported to authorities that Tommy Sr. accused his brother-in-law, David's son, of theft. David also said that it appeared that Tommy Sr. had been drinking as he sped off in his Chevy Camaro. In a warrant, David Jones stated that less than three minutes later, the power went off at his house, and Angela, who was staying with her dad, said she received a phone call from Tommy Sr. that he had crashed the Camaro and ran off. Now, Angela first told authorities that she was driving the crashed Camaro, but after being prodded by her dad, admitted that she lied to protect her husband. Tommy Boswell Sr. paid a fine for leaving the scene of the crash. Less than two years after that crash, Tommy Sr. saw red again, this time it had nothing to do with a theft, but because there was another man inside his house with his wife. On a cold February morning in 2012, Brandon Yates, who was with Angela Boswell, were awakened by shouting outside the Muddy Creek home. Angela was not wearing any clothing when she heard her husband's truck and his voice outside the house. Brandon Yates went to the door and ran into Tommy Jr., who threatened him with some type of a wooden club and told Brandon to come outside. Brandon Yates complied and started heading down the steep driveway to exit the family compound. Brandon said that he was about halfway down the driveway to Muddy Creek Road when he saw a gray covered Chevrolet pickup truck with Tommy's paving on the side heading straight for him, the warrant states. Brandon stated that he was in fear for his life and he began running toward a fence that was in the yard. It continued. Brandon stated that he was unable to outrun the truck and was struck by the vehicle and was flipped over the hood and landed on the driveway. Brandon later told Sullivan County deputies Tommy Boswell Sr., his son, and a third unidentified surround man surrounded him, kicking and punching him before he broke free and ran to a neighbor's house for help. When detectives called Tommy Boswell Sr., he confessed, the three of us did work him over, but hung up. A warrant stated, the two Boswell men, Tommy Jr., was 19 by then, were arrested. Seventeen months later, Tommy Sr. and Angela were back together as they celebrated the birth of their son, Elijah. 
Tommy Sr. and Tommy Jr. also took plea deals in the Brandon Yates assault that got them off on probation. Two months before Elijah's first birthday, September of 2014, Angela Boswell filed for divorce and custody of both Megan, 13, and Elijah. One year later, Angela and Tommy Sr. were divorced, and a settlement was issued at a hearing that Tommy Sr. did not show up for. One year after that, Tommy Sr. and Angela celebrated the birth of their new daughter, Charlotte. By the fall of 2018, the Boswells were separated again. Angela was juggling their three children, a pregnant Megan, plus Elijah and Charlotte, between the Muddy Creek compound, her father's home in Kingsport, and an apartment in Johnson City. Angela's driver's license was suspended. The tags on her car were expired. Police repeatedly stopped her, often finding her children unrestrained. She was repeatedly jailed. Tommy Boswell Sr. asked a judge to award custody of the children to him because Angela was endangering them. Tommy Sr. wrote in a petition for a restraining order against Angela, who was in jail. She has stated that she is out for blood and she will get revenge on me when she is released from jail. I am in fear for myself and my children, Megan, Elijah, and Charlotte Boswell. Tommy Sr. continued. She is using illegal drugs in front of our children. She is exposing our children to criminals. Tommy Boswell Sr. won his request and moved the children back to Muddy Creek. Angela Boswell, who was caught trying to st sneak stimulant pills into jail, was locked up when Megan's baby, Evelyn, was born. Evelyn's father, Ethan Perry, joined the military before she was born. Up to now, he has remained largely silent about Evelyn's disappearance. There isn't much known about the relationship between Ethan and Megan Boswell, as in when it began, when it ended. Photographs of Evelyn suggest she and her mother, Megan, Maggie, were living at the Boswell family compound with Megan Boswell's two younger siblings at some point before she disappeared. Tommy Boswell Sr. and Tommy Jr. operating paving company from the family compound, which now includes three manufactured homes, a double bay garage, a work shed, and a stable of dump trucks, heavy equipment, and personal vehicles. A Sullivan County Sheriff's Office captain says Elijah and Charlotte are living there now with Tommy Sr. Angela was continuing to rack up arrests in 2019 for shoplifting and driving offenses. Sometimes she told authorities she was living at Muddy Creek, and other times she listed her father's address or her apartment in Johnson City. Megan Boswell lamented in a September 2019 Facebook post that her life was tough, but Evelyn made it bearable. And we went over this post in a previous video you can find in the playlist. Again, the Amber Alert is out there for Evelyn May Boswell, age 15 months. Call 1-800-TBI-FIND if you have any information leading to where she might be. Height, 2 feet, weight, 28 pounds, hair blonde, eyes blue, last seen wearing a pink track suit, shoes, and a bow. Prayers for Evelyn to be found safely and alive and well.